City Council approved the expansion of LA's first time home buyer program to assist with the rising cost of home ownership. The program will increase the number of loans available and the size of the down payment assistance at each income level. The new funding, new loan ceiling level, and additional California state funds this year will increase loans for moderate income Angelinos by 800%. This program is designed at its core to talk about and deal with the social equity issues in our city. A significant majority of these loans end up being awarded to first time home buyers that are women and people of color. It's also about gender equity and racial justice in our city. To learn more about LA's first time home buyer assistance programs, visit housing.lacity.org. LA Animal Services is dropping its current requirement to make an appointment to visit shelters on Tuesday and Thursday. Beginning July 5th, shelters will be available for walk-in visits on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. The restoration of walk-in hours will help make pet adoption more accessible and help alleviate shelter overcrowding. To find more information on how to provide a forever home to an animal in need, visit laanimalservices.com. Los Angeles is taking additional measures to ensure the continued supply of water to the city during the current historic drought. City Council passed a motion to require new reports on water supply concerns from the LADWP and the Metropolitan Water District. This motion is an important way to bring all of our water stakeholders into one place so we can have a strategic action plan to really begin to address this existential crisis that Southern California is facing. Additionally, the reports will look at the impact on LA's hydroelectric resources and expansion of large-scale water conservation projects. To learn more about what you can do to help conserve water, visit LADWP.com.